someone today to dare to be a Daniel. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise his name. Let me give honor to the spirit of truth. Let me greet our pastor, evangelist, missionary, and all the saints, all the brethren on Zoom, visiting ones, accept greetings tonight. In the holy and matchless name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Dare to be a Daniel. Glory to God. And I'm just going to read about three to four verses. I'm just going to cut it short. From Daniel chapter 1. Praise God. Praise God. And the king spake unto Haspenaz, the master of his units, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princess, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding, science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and tongue of the Chaldeans. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank so nourishing them three years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king praise the lord now among these were the children of judah daniel hananiah mishael and azariah verse 8 and last but daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat nor with the wine which he drank therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself praise God praise God sing them over again to me wonderful words of life praise God you know I was inspired by this song that we've been singing you know recently I don't want to get adjusted to this world praise God and when I think about an adjustment or alteration praise God you know my mind goes back to Babylon Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, Babylon, you know, in history was described as a magnificent city. You know, a city that was well fortified. You know, they had a mighty army. You know, and they were governed by King Nebuchadnezzar. Praise God who history describes you know, as a wicked, evil king. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God that you have the people of God, you know, who we call the Jews, you know, that were residing in Judah. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, and we go up to Jerusalem at the temple to worship God. Bless his holy name. Bless the name of the Lord. You know what? You know, Jews, the Israelites are the children of Judah. You know, they sinned against God. You know, and they sin reached up to God. And he allowed the Babylonians to come in and to bring them in exile into Babylon. 
Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. And they were taken, you know, into this land of captive. You know, they were brought into a strange land. Bless the name of the Lord. Worship was different. The food was different. The way of life was different. The culture was different. Therefore, they were in a strange land. Bless his holy name. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, and King Nebuchadnezzar, you know, at one point, you know, he asked that they would search throughout the province, you know, and to bring all the skilled men, you know, all those that, you know, were knowledgeable in science, you know, those that understand dreams, you know, the soothsayers, the magicians. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. You know, they were Jewish children in Babylon. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, these four admirable guys, you know, they weren't adults. You know, but the word of God declared that they were children. Bless the name of the Lord. Well skilled. Praise God. Well armed with the word of God. You know, as we studied, you know, the quarterly in the word. Bless the name of the Lord. Highly skilled. You know, the word of God described Daniel that he had an excellent spirit in him. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. You know, they were brought, you know, into a different lifestyle. You know, but what I admire about the Jews, you know, it was not easy for them to adapt you know, to the new way of life. You know, nothing, you know, that was proposed to them, you know, could have turned them away from the doctrine of their truth. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. You know, and some of us, you know, if we are brought into Babylon and we are asked by the king to come and sit at his table, to eat of his delicacies, you know, we would run, you know, to eat the king's portion. Bless the name of the Lord. But there was a young man by the name of Daniel when he was asked to come to the king's table to partake of the king's delicacies. Praise the name of the Lord. You know he declared his words that I will not defile myself with a portion of the king's meat. Bless the name You know their courage. I admire their faith in Christ. I admire, you know, how they were willing to stand up for their God. Bless the name of the Lord. Nothing could shake them in Babylon. Nothing could move them in captivity. Bless the name of the Lord. They were willing to die for the name of their master. Glory to God. You know, and time went by. You know, there were different stories that came up in Babylon. But one of the stories, you know, that I got drawn to. You know, the word of God declared that King Nebuchadnezzar, he had a dream. It's the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the word of God declared and he awoke from the dream. He was troubled because he could not remember. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless 
bless his holy name. So he sent for his astrologers. He sent for his magicians. He sent for his soothsayers. Bless the name of the Lord. And the word of God declares among them was Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Bless his holy name. You know, Nebuchadnezzar, this wicked king, you know, he declared that if they are not able to tell him the dream and to interpret the dream thereof, he was going to cut them asunder. Bless the name of the Lord. He was going to tear them in pieces. Bless the name of the Lord. And this was included Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, but Daniel trusted in his God. You know, so he said to Nebuchadnezzar, O oh, king, live forever. Just give me some time. Bless the name of the Lord. Because the God I serve is not the God of the flesh. Bless the name of the Lord. He can reveal secrets. He can reveal dreams. He can give interpretations. Bless the name of the Lord. So give me some time to let me go seek my God. Bless his heart. Nebuchadnezzar, you know, he was curious about who this God is. Bless the name of the Lord. He said, okay, Daniel, you could go ahead because I want to know whose God you serve. Bless the name of the Lord. But God did not bring them in Babylon for in vain, but he brought them there for a purpose to prove that the God of Elijah still lives today. like thee. Bless his holy name. You know, so Daniel went and he seek the face of the Lord. Bless his holy name. You know, and when he seek the face of God, you know, in a night vision, God appeared unto him. Bless the name of the Lord. And not only appeared unto him, he revealed the dream to him. And not only the dream, he revealed interpretation thereof. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. So young people, bless his holy name. We want to see the face of God. That God can reveal to us his secrets. Bless his name. We want to see the face of God. That God can use us for his glory. We want to see the face of God. That we will be the light in Babylon. A light that is So now, the true God is about to reveal himself in Babylon. Bless his name. You know, and Daniel, you know, he came back to King Nebuchadnezzar. And he said, oh, King, live forever. I saw the Lord. And he heard me. And he delivered me from all my fear. The God that I serve has revealed the dream unto me. Bless his holy name. Glory to God. Though Nebuchadnezzar was in a night vision. Hallelujah. And though saw an image. Bless the name of the Lord. The head was of gold. Glory to God. The neck and breast was of silver. Praise his holy name. The belly and thigh was of brass. The foot was of iron. And part clay. Bless the name of the Lord. And thou Nebuchadnezzar had the head of gold. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And afterward you saw like it was a stone. That was cut out of the mountains without hands. Bless the name of the Lord. And the stone began to roll into Babylon. It was a living white stone. Rolling into Babylon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And the smoke 
on the head of gold and destroy the kingdom of Babylon. Bless the name of the Lord. Crumble the, 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 the silver. Crumble the brass. Bless the name of the Lord. Now we are down in the feet of iron and clay. We can divide it. Soon to pass away. Bless the name of the Lord. Babylon the great is fallen. Hallelujah. So he's crying out to his people. That we must come on. about to be destroyed. Bless the name of the Lord. You know he saw that kingdom of God. You know and he said he saw this kingdom. And he said that in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom and the greatness of this kingdom shall be given to the people of the saints of the most that God. Hallelujah. But before we can enter into this kingdom, we have to stand and be like Daniel. Dare to be a Daniel. Dare to stand alone. Hallelujah. Dare to have a purpose for and dare Let us stand for righteousness. Hallelujah. And to be accounted among men that shall reign with them. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. It wasn't easy to stand in captivity. Hallelujah. I said it was not easy for them to stand in captivity. But Daniel's purpose in his heart. We have the purpose in our hearts, children of God, that we will not defile ourselves with a portion of the king's meal. Bless the name of the Lord. But whether God who we serve, he's going to deliver us or not, we are not going to bow. Bless his holy name. The world is in confusion. Daniel declared that it's only confusion of faces. Hallelujah. And if we are not careful, the church is going to be drawn in confusion. Hallelujah. But we have to turn our eyes up on Jesus. We have to look full in his wonderful faith, church of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We saw the sun tempted and tried. Why should be the song of the law? But farther along, we know all about it. Farther along, we'll understand why. So let us hold on to our faith. Earn and seek content to our faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. No, because the word of God declared that Enoch, bless the name of the Lord, prophesied that the saints is going to come with ten thousands. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to come with ten thousands of his saints. And they are going to judge the wicked. Hallelujah. They are going to judge the ungodly. Bless his holy name. So let us separate ourselves, children of God. You know, Job declared that I'm going where the wicked shall cease their troubling. 
and the weary shall be at rest. And all of the saints of the ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This troubled world is not my final all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because there is coming an end. When the wicked shall cease their troubling. Hallelujah. And all of the saints of the ages. They are going to sit at his feet. And be blessed. Bless his holy name, but only a few shall enter in. Those are dear to be a Daniel. Hallelujah. When everything is falling apart, bless the name of the Lord. You know, there was one by the name of Esther in Babylon. Bless the name of the Lord and her people. Hallelujah. Mordecai. Glory be to God. You know, they would see them in the gates. And they would bow down and worship the God of gods. They would worship the King of kings. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, but one day, you know, the worshiping came to him. And he began to complain that there is a group of people in Shushan's palace that is worshiping a God that is not the God of flesh. It is worshiping a God that is not the God of silver. It's worshiping a God that is not the God of gold. Bless the name of the Lord. So they plan to destroy the Lord of Shushan's palace. But they dare to stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When all around my soul gives way. Amen. Hallelujah. He then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking stand. So they continue to worship their God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I'm going to die today, I'm going to worship my God. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So there was a courageous woman by the name of Esther. Bless the name of the Lord. When she realized that they were planning to destroy her people. Hallelujah. And when she spoke with Mordecai, he declared unto her, to the kingdom for such a time as this. So God took her into Babylon. But we are in Babylon for a purpose, church. We are in Babylon to let them know that there is a God who stands omnipotent. We are in Babylon to let the world know that there is a God that created heaven and earth. his name and moreover we are in Babylon to shine our light bless the name of the Lord so that the world can see hallelujah that we are a called on people that we are a chosen generation that we are a royal priesthood to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. So dare to be a Daniel. Stand for holiness. Stand for righteousness. When all hell is breaking loose, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, church of God. Hallelujah. Nebuchadnezzar called Shabrach, Bishop, and Abednego, and he said, I heard. You know, at the sound of the flute and the dulcimer and all the different music. Oh, Hallelujah, you did not bow to, the, to my image. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You know, they replied, Oh, King, live forever. I'm not careful to answer you in this matter. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. Yeah. Whether the God in who we serve is able to deliver us or not. We will not bow. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. So 
such faith, such courage. Hallelujah. Is greatly admired. See that we are surrounded with such great kind of witnesses. Let us lay aside the sin and the weight which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Dare to be a Daniel. Dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose firm. We have a purpose in Babylon Church. We have to let it be known. Hallelujah. I said our purpose in Babylon must be made known. Bless the name of the Lord. We don't want to keep silent. Hallelujah. But even though Daniel knew his life was on the line, he went in his house and he removed the curtains. And he began to call upon the Lord God of Abraham. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Because they understood that Babylon is going to fall. And the only thing that is going to stand forever is our faith in our God. So dare to be a Daniel. The word of God declare when the Lord shall return. We need to find faith on the earth. We need some characters like Daniel. We need some characters like Ananiah, Hazariah, and Mishael. We need some characters like Esther. Bless the name of the Lord to be determined. If I perish, I perish. I'm going to see the king. God bless you in Jesus' name. Ooh, if I